Why should we care about big data collection on each of us? To most people, the new normal of our information being captured and stored at every moment is not real. It can't hurt you. It's not physical. Yet big data is about people and people's lives. Its use will affect you every day. It's not theory. And now a web exists from which most of us will never escape. It starts with your phone. All phones can be tracked and no phone can escape it. But data does not exist in isolation. It can be indexed to other information, like facial recognition cameras in Los Angeles. Do you think this just takes photos of your license plates? We are all exposed to mass surveillance. By being confronted with fear, we have been manipulated into thinking that tracking the behavior of innocent people, the country's own citizens, is somehow good for us. After all, it's only used to track terrorists, is it really? The cameras doing facial recognition and the phone tracking using Stingray was used for warrantless surveillance. And this data was handed over to third-party firms like Palantir for pre-crime. We're all being profiled through our beliefs and our behavior. You think those who were looting and burning during these troubled times were getting away scot-free? Don't worry, give it time. There's no rush. The data is there. Just think of the lack of awareness by most people that the corporate entities like Google and Apple and Facebook know where everyone is. There's 24 seven tracking on your regular phones and you cannot turn it off. And law enforcement has frequently subpoenaed this data. Are we really free to protest? Someone can find the identity of all of these people. I'm sure they're comfortably protesting with their phones next to them. I really do wish people were more aware of this new world, but they are not. We're all categorized by our beliefs. Well, it's just data after all, right? But knowing your beliefs can be used to manipulate you. They will know what triggers you. They can have access to data that can embarrass you. Are you poor and homeless? Are you rich? Knowing your behaviors, your financial condition, has been a long-term tracking tool that has been used to influence us for a long time now. The whole credit scoring system is chock full of information about every purchase as well as our payment habits. But this has expanded to a social scoring system. You think this just exists in China? Perhaps you haven't really looked at the social media aggregators lately. Why don't you search yourself on the internet and see what you can find? Everything you do is bought and sold. All your location data is bought and sold. That data has been used to control the stock market. Your IP addresses matched to locations are bought and sold. Your whole internet identity and activity are recorded forever. As much as many powerful people are profiting from your information, you still think it's not affecting you. Your medical data is being tracked. 
Supposedly, this is protected by privacy laws, but yet every interaction you have with your doctor is being pumped into central databases. A COVID-19 diagnosis is not a secret you can keep. Our data is not theoretical. Data can be used to impact your life. Yet, these times are much more difficult. We have the health threats from COVID-19, and then we have the unrest and political tensions. Will COVID-19 contact tracing only be used for our health? What impact does the big data collection have on our lives today? How much of what goes on is normal? Are any messages being disproportionately amplified? Are there sides to a story that we don't see? Your little phone can not only be used to collect information, it can be used to influence you. Sometimes someone can push a narrative. Put it in your face at every opportunity. And the powerful internet institutions have this kind of power. If I withheld one side of a story, would that have an impact on you? Again, with enough power, corporations can make a story fade and disappear. And they have. One of the biggest threats to government and corporate control is our desire for privacy. This is one of the stories that is often made to disappear. Privacy deprives them of information. Privacy deprives them of knowledge about you. Without profiling knowledge, messages can't be targeted, and you get a more balanced view of the world. Privacy gives you freedom to choose, to choose without unfair influence. Folks, listen closely. Information is power. Deprive them of information and you deprive them of power. That's what this channel is about. I'll educate you with solutions. Fortunately, there are still things we can do to block large chunks of data collection. It's not perfect, but the less information available or if the information is mangled up by disinformation, then the artificial intelligence won't be able to profile you. Though there's no direct way to stop a government from tracking you on your phone, at least we're able to stop companies like Google, Facebook, and Apple from collecting your data. At least we can minimize the effect of mass surveillance. Please subscribe. You will learn a lot. Thank you for watching.